The Enforcement Directorate has filed an e-charge sheet against former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, his son Karthi Chidambaram and others in the INX media money laundering case in a Delhi court. This is the first charge sheet filed by the ED in the case naming Chidambaram and his son under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Mumbai police has imposed curfew in the city under Section 144 ahead of Cyclone Nisarga's landfall in the state. According to the Mumbai police's order, people have been refrained from venturing out to coast, beaches, promenade, parks and other similar places along the coastline until June 4th. US President Donald Trump has told Prime Minister Narendra Modi that he plans to invite India to join an expanded group of G7 summit in September. In a telephonic conversation with PM Modi, Trump discussed his plans for the US presidency of G7, the COVID-19 pandemic and many other issues. He also invited the Indian Prime Minister to attend the next G7 summit. The lockdown may have spelt doom for most sectors of the economy, but for the sugarcane industry, it has come with a silver lining. Sugar production in the country topped 268.21 lakh tonnes by the end of May, which was higher than the 265 lakh tonnes that industry body Indian Sugar Mills Association had projected for the current season. Amid the staggering rise of coronavirus cases in India, Biocon Chairman and Managing Director Kiran Majumdar Shaw has said that the curve of the deadly disease would not flatten soon. She stated that community transmission was the most worrisome factor as there was less focus on asymptomatic cases. The Biocon head said that it was the right stage to increase coronavirus testing via serological tests and pool testing. India's enormous services industry endured another month of devastating contraction in May as the coronavirus brought activity to a near halt, causing steep job losses and cementing fears of a deep recession, a survey has shown. India's coronavirus infections crossed 2 lakh, the health ministry has said and a peak could still be weeks away in the world's second most populous country. Cases jumped by 8,909 over the previous day in one of the highest single-day spikes, taking the tally to 2,7,615. Six other nations, from the United States to Britain and Brazil, have a higher caseload.